These are the tears of a mother whose dream of a better life in Europe became a nightmare. Wida and her husband Masood sold everything they had for a new life for them and their two children. Masood posted a smiling photo on Facebook saying, Goodbye Afghanistan. That dream was shattered in the cold waters of the Aegean Sea, crossing from Turkey to Greece in a smuggler's boat. We were 21 people. Halfway the engine broke. They gave us numbers for a rescue boat. We called. We told them in English we need help. They told us we will come, but no one came. Then a wave of water flipped the boat. They were plunged into the sea with his son Sadiq, who was nine, and his eight-year-old sister, Alaha. The waves were huge, he said, and it was dark and no one answered their calls for help. Eventually, the children succumbed, their lungs filled with water, their desperate parents helpless to do anything. They kept saying, please, God, help us, as they were begging to be saved. They were children. They didn't know what was happening. They didn't know anything. After they were gone, I made a decision. We wanted to go to Europe because of our kids, but now they were gone, what did we have to live for? And rescue seemed helpless. It would have been easier to take our vests off and drown as well. Before they did, a Turkish fishing boat rescued them. Wida was pregnant. She miscarried in the ordeal. I don't know what to do now. I cannot think. Even though the Afghan people are now all too aware of the risks, the dangers they face here on a daily basis from the war is a far worse situation. And that's why still more and more are making the escape to Europe. These are the coffins of 10 young men who died making the increasingly risky journey. Five were close friends from a small village near Kabul. They left, they said, because they had no other choice. <laughs> There is no security here. We cannot go onto the streets with safety. There is no work. We go and study and then can find a job and then sit at home. And there is no future here. We have no choice except to run away. Masood and Wida will run away again, they say. Too many memories here of their children. But whatever life they find, the tragedy of that day will always be a shadow that hangs over them. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Kabul.